kindergarten students. Today, we're gonna continue rolling some balls. So what I'd like you to do is get this tennis ball that you have in your bag, and we're gonna make a little ramp. I got a piece of cardboard, just any piece of cardboard that you might have around the house, and then I got a block. Now, you don't you have to use a block, you could use a book. I like a block because it has three different dimensions. It can be really low, it can be medium, and it can be high. But you could do that with a book too. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little ramp and we're gonna see what happens when the ball is on the ramp. These are the materials that I have. I have a block, I have some cardboard, and my ball. I'm gonna put my ball to the side and do you see I have my block is down, is low. I'm gonna make a very a uh, slight ramp. It's not gonna be really high, it's a very slight angle. And I'm going to put the ball on the top of the ramp and I'm gonna let go. So, did the ball go down really fast? Did the ball go really far? So I think the ball went down the ramp slowly and it did not go very far. Now I'm gonna make my ramp a little higher. I'm gonna take my cardboard off. I'm gonna put my ramp, my block up like this, just a little bit taller. I'm gonna put the cardboard back up and I'm gonna put the ball on the ramp you can see that my ramp is a little higher. I'm not gonna push the ball, I'm just gonna let gravity pull the ball down the ramp. So here's the ball. Hey, I think it is going faster and farther. I'm gonna count the blocks, the squares. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My ball went ten squares. Now I'm going to make my ramp even taller. I'm going to take my block and I'm going to stand it up nice and tall. Now I'm going to put the cardboard on. Wow, look at my ramp. It's very steep. I'm gonna put the ball on the ramp. What force pulls the ball down the hill? It's gravity. All right, here we go. Wow, the ball is going so far and much faster. Wow, I'm gonna count how many squares? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen squares. Wow, my ball rolled very far and much faster. Do you know what I learned from our experiment? I learned that a ball rolls down the ramp slowly when the ramp is very low. But if the ramp is really high, the ball rolls fast and it goes very far. Now I wonder what happens if my ball hits something. I'm gonna do an experiment having my ball run into some wooden blocks. As I want to make my ramp low again, and I wanna see what happens when my ball runs into one of the blocks, one of the wood blocks. Here we go. Huh, what happened to the block? What happened to the ball? So 
the ball hit the block and the block moved a little bit and it stopped the ball from moving. Let's see what happens with three blocks. I don't think the blocks moved as much that time. This time I put six blocks out. Let's roll the ball. Oh, some of the blocks fell off. I wonder what will happen if we make the ramp higher. This is the medium ramp with just one block. So it hit the block, moved the block out of the way, and continued rolling. But it did slow down after hitting the block. Let's try three blocks this time. It did move the blocks, and it did go a little bit, but it didn't go as far when it hit as when it hit only one block. Here are six blocks. Ooh! It moved the blocks a little bit, but it stopped the ball. Let's try it on the highest ramp. Here's the highest ramp and just one block. It went right over the block. It just bounced right over. It had a lot of energy and a lot of force. So I have the high ramp and three blocks. Let's see what happens with the ball. Up oh, once again, it went right over the blocks. All right, I have six blocks. Let's see what happens. Oh! The blocks got pushed out of the way, and the ball stopped and then moved a little bit to the side. Kindergarten students, I want to do just a little review of some important science vocabulary. Let's go back to the very beginning. Observe. When we observe, we look with all of our senses. So today, we observed the ball rolling down the ramps. And compare. We compared a lot of things. We compared how the ball rolled down the ramp when it was on a low ramp, a medium ramp, and a high ramp. We did an experiment where we compared them. And then we communicate about what we found out. I talked about it with you. You guys talked about it with your teacher. So it's important that after we observe and compare that we also communicate. We've been talking about forces, why things move. There are two forces. There's a push. You can push something and make it move. And there's pull. You can pull something and make it move. When the balls rolled down the ramp and we didn't push them, there was a pulling force acting on the ball. And that pulling force is gravity. Gravity is pulling us down to the earth all the time. When we had the balls rolling down the ramp, if the ramp was low, how did the ball move? The ball moved slowly. It did not go fast. When we made the ramp higher, how did the ball move? The ball moved fast. And when we put blocks in front of the ball, when it rolled down the ramp, the ball would collide with the block. Now, different things happened. Sometimes the ball would stop and the block wouldn't move. The block would stop the motion of the ball. Sometimes the ball would move the block a little bit. Sometimes the ball went over the block. Lots of different things happen when things collide. Boys and girls, will you please get out your science journal and you're going to turn to the page that says, what happens when objects collide? What happens when objects collide? 
And I am going to write about when the ball moved the block. So what I did is I drew a picture. I drew a picture of the ramp, a high ramp. And I have the ball and the arrow means, oh, the ball is rolling down the ramp. So the ball continues rolling down the ramp and I have the ball hitting the block and I show that the block was moved. And then I wrote the ball moved the block. You could also say the ball stopped. Okay, we're gonna continue talking about forces. I'll see you next time, guys.